It's this one from Bright, the no yellow hair mask. The brightest thing here today <laughs> with all this bloom. I think I definitely want like asparagus. Ooh. Do I? Oh, that probably could have been for longer, my bad. You know, you're giving me real little dick energy right now and I need you to stop that. And I got a little PR package that I want to unbox it. Hello guys, so I filmed a whole little montage <laughs> this morning and then I haven't picked up the camera since. It's like six o'clock, it's past six o'clock right now. I've been watching YouTube, I just got back from the gym. I did a little bit of a cardio day and when I say cardio, I hate cardio, I hate the machines, all of it, I don't run, none of it. So when I say cardio, I mean I was hitting the bag. Did cardio, did chest, did shoulders, and then I just like made a salad and hung out with Spartacus, which by the way, if you are invested in his training, he had two different assessments this week and we think we know who we're gonna go with. We wanna go with a behaviorist for him versus just a traditional trainer, just cause he's scared of everything and we really wanna get down to the root of that because there's no need for him to be scared of shit. <laughs> but anyways, he's exhausted because yesterday was his session with the behaviorist and she actually asked us not to do any prep for him. Usually when new people come over, we will have them meet us in the parking lot because it's a little bit more neutral territory for him and butter him up with treats and usually he's fine to bring them in. But the behaviorist wanted to see exactly what he does. So she came up to the door, knocked on the door, set him off, all of that stuff. And it literally took all the treats in the house plus a fucking box of chicken. We buy this like rotisserie shredded chicken, but it took all of that to get him to finally calm down. Actually, not even all of that calmed him down. He was just better. He wasn't 100% calmed down. What really calmed him down was me and the trainer went on a walk with Spart and after that he calmed down and he, he was totally fine. But before that, like she was just constantly feeding him treats and stuff. So he's super full and he's super tired because that was a lot of stimulation for him. But anyways, like you said, I just got done at the gym. I need to shower and I'm like procrastinating because it's a hair wash day and I hate washing my hair. <sighs> and don't pretend like you like washing your hair either. All girls hate washing their hair. That is a truth that I have come to know. We hate washing our hair because it just, it takes forever. We love the end result. We love the fresh head of hair and just how it looks so cute. But like the actual process of washing and drying your hair is such a nightmare. And I'm just like trying to avoid it. But I think I want to try a new mask. I got like a purple mask and we're getting a little just a touch brassy, so maybe we'll give that a try. I'll show you guys the mask when I inevitably head upstairs. But yeah, I just wanted to hop in on here and finally kind of get this vlog started for real because, oh, and Trevor's home. That's how late I'm starting this. Sir, sir, that's not very nice, that's dad. Yeah, don't you feel silly. Hi, babe. Spark kisses butt was blocking you. You want to say hi to the vlog? No, he wants to say hi to Spark. Fair enough. Oh. How are you? Dad, dad. How are you? Dad, dad. How are you? Oh. Say, mommy had to go refill my treats today since I ate all of them yesterday. Does that mean I have to cook them? No, no, I got him regular treats, not the hot dog treats. <laughs> Sorry, the water is running to warm it up, but I just wanted to show you guys the mask really quick. It's this one from Bright, the no yellow hair mask. So it's purple and toning and conditioning, which is great because purple shampoos tend to be drying. So 
it's nice that they're doing like a conditioning mask for it. And it looks like you're supposed to use this weekly or twice weekly. Just trying to see if I'm supposed to put it in before or after I wash my hair. Okay, I apply it to wash hair. So once I shampoo and stuff, I'll apply this, but you guys probably won't see it until afterwards. Here's a quick peek at my hair right now. You guys can see it's just like lost its vibrancy and it's like brightness and stuff. So hopefully we can get some of that back with this mask. Yeah, like it's just, you know, it's a little dull. Let's spice it up. Just want to show you guys really quick. The mask is actually purple. I'm sorry. It is so foggy in here, but the mask is like legit purple. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, like a true just purple cream or whatever, which is pretty cool. So hopefully that means it'll definitely brighten up my blonde. I just dried my hair and definitely seeing that all of the yellow is out, the blonde is a lot more neutral and i think i only had this in maybe 10 minutes max it might have even been less than 10 minutes because it was just like while i was shaving and stuff but still even just that did a lot i can only imagine it would be even brighter if i had done like the full 15 so yeah i'm liking this mask i'll probably definitely use it again in a couple of weeks when the color brasses again but it's definitely like a nice little bridge step to take in between your color touch-ups if you like need to tone it so Highly recommend. It was just from Target. I found it in those sections at Target that are new where it's like a little round table thing of like travel stuff and like single use masks and stuff to try. So that's where I got this from. So if you guys want to try it, keep an eye out for it or I'll obviously link it in my description as well. But Trevor and I are watching The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. We're finishing up the last episode right now. And then later I need to pack and also figure out my outfits because Michelle and I last minute changed our shooting location for tomorrow. So whenever I plan outfits, I try to kind of plan them according to the location. So now that we switched, I need to switch the outfits that I'm doing because it's like a very different vibe, but I also have stuff that's due. So I might need to reconfigure a couple of outfits so I can get those brand posts in. But yeah, just wanna check in on the hair and I'll probably see you guys a little bit later when I'm packing for tomorrow. Oh no, I didn't grab an extra battery, shit. Anyways, hi guys, so I am on my way to go meet up with Michelle. We are shooting today, I think I already mentioned to you guys, we had to change our location last minute and I meant to like pack with you guys last night, but I, oh no, I don't know who you are. I didn't get to bed until super late last night, so by that point I just like wanted to pack find everything I needed and go to bed. So I didn't film, but I ended up actually having to add an outfit just because of our location change. I have a post due that I needed to shoot today. And then on top of that, like I had mentioned last night, the way I plan out my outfits is based on location a lot of the times. So basically I had to migrate all of my looks that I was gonna do in this location to today, obviously. But then like this outfit, I wanted to shoot earlier in spring because I feel like this look isn't gonna fit come more of the summertime because I'm actually in in leather pants they're just like leather cognac pants and it's just like not as colorful so I want to get this look done and out of the way so I had to add this one into today and stuff so I just had to do like a decent amount of rearranging and reorganizing on my outfits and finding everything but I got everything I have everything packed up in the back here unfortunately a thing that did end up happening that I didn't want to do but again because of the location change and because of how I had to reshuffle the outfits I have both of my nice bags with me which I don't like to do because obviously I don't want to leave either in the car ever so I'm a little bit nervous about that I mean I'm gonna have both with me at all times but it's just gonna be a lot to carry and it was something that I didn't want to have to worry about but it's all good there are worse things in life but anyways I don't know if I told you guys we have switched to Tustin and I really want to pick up a coffee there's morning lavender over there and they have this like sea salt iced coffee that is fucking amazing so I definitely want that I don't know if I want that right away or if I want to get that like part way through but then afterwards we're definitely gonna go eat I just don't know where because usually we do Roma d'Italia but like I think the last time we switched it up so I guess it just kind of depends on how we feel but whatever I'm down for Italian if we decide to go for Italian just got here to test in Michelle's just right over here 
it's actually kind of crowded so I'm hoping changing in my car isn't gonna be an issue but you know we'll see how it goes but I'm just bringing out the lens really quick and then I'll switch you guys and we're gonna start shooting Here's Michelle I like your jacket. That's so Thank cute. You. Is that the one you were waiting for yesterday? Yeah. Nasty gal. Love it. Look how spring she is with our gloomy ass Even weather. Even though it's a jacket, it's still yeah. spring. It's the brightest thing here today <laughs> with all this gloom. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, look at all the pretty purple flowers on the ground. It's so spring. Even though it's gloomy. <laughs> so gloomy. Oh my god. I forgot how cropped in this is. Paint this wall. You <gasps> I can shoot right here. This is fantastic. Wow, I will nice. I will take this. Wow. wow. You know what? They must have seen us always avoid this wall. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we're gonna help them out. Wow, this looks really good. So yeah, much okay. Better. I'm gonna I'll shoot here. <laughs> it could have been Michelle had you had you saved a little bit and just, we could have gotten matching back. I'm so sorry. Guys, we're done. We're done. What time is it? It's like two o'clock. Like two, I want to say it's. Let's guess. I think it's two seventeen. Yeah, I'm gonna say sometime before two thirty. Two eighteen. Wow. wow. Look at you go. We started at twelve thirty. Like maybe more 12.45. Yeah, because we were waiting for gold to move and we got yeah. there. I'm going to say 12.45. Yeah. So it took Excuse us like <laughs> an hour. Yeah. One to two. It took us like wow. an hour to do four looks. We're so quick. And we got coffee. Yes. So it took us like an hour to shoot four looks. We're so good at this. Wow. Now. Technically eight looks because there's two of us. I know. So it took us a half hour each to shoot four looks. <laughs> oh my god. Professionals. Professionals. Who don't get paid. Call us. <laughs> barely get paid. Barely. But the bare Skim off the top. <laughs> for, for Instagram, I've gotten paid like three days. <laughs> maybe, no, maybe two. That's it. I don't even know if I've gotten two. <laughs> Hire us! <laughs> Professional ask. Ooh, I like that. I'm putting that in my next media kit. <laughs> Professional S. Professional S. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where do we want to eat? Do we want Roma d'Italia or do we want... I'm Roma actually, I don't feel partial to anything. So if you're partial to anything, I'm... Uh, no, I feel like... I, I expect this to be done so much later. I know. Like, it's like lunch time. I know. Oh, last time we did eat at Roma d'Italia. No, we ate at that American yeah. Grub place. Yeah, I'm I, could, to think. I could eat anything. Here, can I have my bag? Oh, yeah. Because I'm... Let me look up what's around here. I'm sweating. Wow, we did this without my freaking battery dying. I forgot to change out my battery, guys. So yeah. you guys are running on fumes. Professional-esque. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's a place. Can you like, is it Korean barbecue? Ooh. Okay. Well, maybe let's. I love Korean barbecue. I'm curious, though, if they are seating inside. I'm sure that they are. Oh, they have to be. Everything's been changing. Oh, my phone friendly. What time them. are they open? Because they like close in the middle of the day for them. Oh, oh. Well, like some locations too, and then like open up back for dinner. Yeah. Oh no, this this one's open, solid. Yeah. Do you want to go to? Yeah. It's called Gyu Kaku. Okay. Um, let me see how far it is. As I'm looking at food on Instagram. <laughs> it's four minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. How's it working there? Do you know? It's not that bad. I think it has its own parking lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're not in LA. Yeah, I know. Fine. I'm like... We're fine. I like how you're not even in the frame this whole time. <laughs> I'm here. Sarah's talking to herself. <laughs> I'm just like over here like... <laughs> God, you look like such a loser in my vlog. 
<laughs> is Sarah I have no friends. Out? Is Sarah hanging out with someone? <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. Okay, yeah, let's go to Yay. Pukaki. This place is good. It's gonna be a 40 minute wait. <laughs> it's gonna be a 40 minute wait, but it smells so good there. It smells we're like, in here still. That like we're like, well, floor. okay, we'll wait. <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna make some TikToks. TikTok. I have this here, but I think it's too close. It's way too close. It's not gonna get this It's not gonna work. God, why didn't you have your car set up for this? <laughs> so, well, I mean, so I do have rude. a sticky pad. I can't make a TikTok on this sticky pad. No, I just spent like through the camera. <laughs> Which, by the way, is running low on batteries. So I'll just, <laughs> just, just a quick hello, hello. and uh, when we can finally get the food, we'll see you guys then. Looking at the menu, in case you've never been to Yukaku and there's one near you. So basically, it's like they'll bring you the meat and you grill it yourself. And we're just. We're so excited. Michelle got particularly excited because we remembered that they do s'mores here. She's like, they do s'mores. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like my mouth is watering. I'm so excited about this. I like how like so far in this, I've picked out all meat and no veggie. Oh yeah. Hmm. I don't need a veggie. And I definitely with, need- It comes with a lunch salad. Then I definitely need the, a three. Yeah, I need a three yeah. too. Or maybe I'll just do two and add on chicken karage because I fucking love chicken karage. Like, let me take a look at the a la carte menu. <laughs> I think I definitely want like asparagus. Ooh. Do I? <laughs> it does come with a salad, so like, do you want? I, I, extra I do. Green? Well, I do love asparagus. That's something that's hard for me. Yeah, just for a second. Wow, zucchini is only twenty-five calories. Like, I wasn't looking at the calories, but but so I, guess. I love zucchini. You should eat more of that. That's asparagus zucchini. are one hundred and twenty calories. Why? Why? <laughs> They're both vegetables. Someone let us know. Is zucchini mostly water? Maybe. Probably. Hmm. Can I? I th do I want the? Ooh, what do I want? <laughs> oh, what do you want? You sounded really excited about beef earlier, so I think yeah. I for sure get something beef. Yeah, I think I want the yaki shabu beef. Mm. What's the difference between the yaki shabu and the umakara? You know, they look the same. I think it's, well, I'm sure once we get in there, we can Angus ask. beef, the pork belly does look good. I can see us watching this vlog back and our mouths salivating, <laughs> watching this clip as we're making up I think food. some of my favorite videos that you've posted are like all of us eating. I know, I love our eating clips. Yeah, like the, your Australian one is probably one of my favorites. Oh, thank you. Because, <laughs> and then we can't have a lot of that. So then I sit there and I'm sad. I know. Oh, oh, you mean the mukbang? Yeah. Oh, that was a good video. Yeah. I would say our worst Comment mukbang? if you hear from the mukbang video. <laughs> well, that'd be crazy. I know, right? Wow. I would say like my least favorite mukbang, even though I liked the video, I think my least favorite one was our first one because I picnic? felt like shit for days. We went too hard. We didn't know what we, we were went doing. We went way too fucking hard on that one. Like, we got food from like four different restaurants, plus then we went to Target and got a bunch of fucking junk food. Did you know that you can like overdose on, like essentially like you can have too much sodium in your body and yeah. you can die from that? Yeah. I did not know that. I think, that I think we, we were on the edge of death. I think that <laughs> like, we had like surpassed the amount of sodium that our body should intake for like yeah. a week. We were full for like three days. I afterwards. like, could, I had a migraine for like three yeah. or four days from all the salt. We had the worst food hangover from that mukbang. And I didn't even eat all of it. I ate a lot of Funyuns yeah. and the in and out Oh man, that sounds the so Funyuns, good. The Funyuns, I think, is what sent us over the I edge. think it was, yeah, the Funyuns, we went too far with the Funyuns. Yeah. And then I ate all the Swedish fish and all that, yeah. like, you know, it's not real. Yeah. You know? Like, that was just yeah. sitting in my stomach. I felt so heavy. And that was, like, right before we both went on beach vacations. Or, well, you did on lake vacation. Yeah, yeah I did. Still, yeah. bathing suits. Dumb. Hi. Stupid. So stupid. I And then, like, two days later, I was like, I still feel really bad. Like, I don't think that I'm sick because I almost felt like I had a cold because yeah. I felt like heavy. Our bodies were just pissed. And I was like, do you feel weird? Yeah. And she was like, I have a hangover, like a yeah. food hangover. I was like, I've never, like, I love food. <laughs> but it's too. never been that bad. Yeah. That was, I didn't want to eat anything else for like five days. Yeah. Ago. Solo to the ceiling 
type, couple screws, loose I'm just the same, so I Flipping now she wanna party Taking all the Whitney for her own scheme But she leaving in the morning Now she grabbing all my drawers And couple bands tucked in a Louis by the red bottoms Got him from a dummy from the East End We making love but no one's finding the commitment That's fine, real slime stay creeping That's fine, same mind, same deep end Real line in the sheets of my king bed She speak a truth, you see her shoulders start to ease then Lights off, nightcap on the weekend Light up, nightcap for the freaking You feel like Sunday morning drives You make me wanna patch up my mind And all these Alright guys, back home. Fresh battery in the camera. And Trevor got home like maybe five minutes after me. And remind me that there's fights tonight so we're probably gonna go to our friend's place we've taken you guys to their place before and we're probably gonna go watch the fights over there probably gonna pick up some stuff for them to drink beforehand but yeah i just like i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear for that though but we don't have to go for a couple of hours so i'm just gonna watch some superstore i've been re-watching superstore because it's hilarious and I usually like to watch comedies like The Office and Parks and Rec just for like something casual to watch and since both of those are no longer on Netflix I know they haven't been for a while but still I'm now doing super short because it's like kind of the same comedy style kind of like laid-back casual watch and I would normally do New Girl but since that's my favorite show, I watch it so much, I just don't want to get sick of it. So I've been on a Superstore kick, so I'll probably do that for a little while. And then we'll figure out what I'm wearing tonight. Probably going to keep it casual because it's a pretty laid back thing. I'm just going to stay comfy tonight. I just grabbed this sweatshirt from Princess Polly. It's blue. It says Stockholm on it. And I just did a little bra tuck. And then my a goldie jeans these are the 90s loose fit and then i'm gonna throw a jacket over because it's very gloomy and it's getting kind of chilly so i'm gonna do this jacket from princess polly i actually wore it when i was shooting today but i think it'd be cute just right over like very casual chill outfit but still a little bit dressy with the jacket over top and i'm trying to look for a necklace but i think just like a little gold necklace i don't need anything fancy because we're just chilling and watching the fights but yeah that's what i'm wearing tonight and still waiting for trevor to wake up to let me know if we need to go pick up drinks or anything to bring over all right um, i mean that's a great intro <laughs> Trevor wanted to let you guys know that his presence is now on the vlog. That was his what? intro song. Oh. <laughs> but in the car now with Trevor, got some Trulies for the gang. I'm tired. <laughs> but no, I do not not want to go. I he was trying to ask me earlier if I go. didn't want to go. So but. double negative ah! is what we're doing. Oh, that's you know what, you're giving me real little dick energy right now and I need you to stop that. Real dick? Little dick energy. Oh. <laughs> Could be worse. Who's fighting tonight? I don't even know. Uh, oh, Ferguson. That's the one I want to oh, see. Oh, yeah. If he loses, he's probably going to retire. Probably. Miles thinks he'll go to Bellator. If he wins, we get to hear another fun speech. I, they're, they're, they are interesting. I'm not going to lie. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a fighter who's just like a little bit, uh, a little bit odd. Likes to drag on, but doesn't make a ton of sense. He talks to, yeah, yeah, he's, he's like, yeah, when God made the birds fly in a certain direction and knew it was code for me to do an uppercut, I was like, what? Yeah, like, dude's out there. Entertaining, but he's out there. Um, I'm so pissed. The sun finally came out, and it was so cloudy when we were shooting. And all of the photos I have need so much editing because it was so gloomy. But like, look at this light. It's gorgeous. We look so tan. Where? Look in, look in the viewfinder. What? I'm trying to look. look I can't golden. see. Golden. Ooh, get that golden mm -hmm. stewy glow. Mm-hmm. Trevor's got a permanent romper right now. <laughs> He's got a t-shirt tan. <laughs> and then... He has a shorts tan, and then he has a pretty crazy socks tan. So it's and like I'm not super tan yet. His calves are like brown, but his thighs and ankles and feet are white. Ah! 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 
<laughs> when he's naked, it looks like he has a permanent romper on. It's really funny. Like, look at the. I can't, I can't tell. Yes, you can. won't be able to see it. It's blinding on the camera. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's called exaggeration. We're gonna head out to the bar. The white claw or the camera? The camera. This is Dan. Say hi to my channel. Hi channel. <laughs> Hi, can I get five junior cheeseburgers plain? Five junior cheeseburgers plain. What do you want? A small potato? chocolate frosty. A small chocolate frosty. A baked potato or sour cream and onion baked potato. A sour cream and onion baked potato. What's that? Sour cream potato. Okay. Oh, what's that with the nuggets coming? I'm sorry, do you want to add onion to the potato? Uh, oh, no, just chives. Just chives, please. Okay. What's the sizes of your chicken nuggets? We have a four, six, and a ten piece. Six regular. Can I get six regular, please? Any sauce? No. No, thank you. Okay. That'll be it. Alright, your total will be twenty-one thirty-six at the window. Thank, thank you. Thank you. God damn, you got a lot of shit. We got Wendy's. I'm so happy right now. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We never get Wendy's. I think it's been a year. I know. No, no, no. Kind of after um, uh, Skyler's party. I don't think I got it. Anything. Yeah, you did. I you did? got a okay. couple of cheeseburgers in December because it was very vlogmas. Thank you. Birthdays, I think, right after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It was during Vlogmas, so it was around December. Thank you. <gasps> My Frosty. So we watched the fights and then we went to a bar <laughs> for, for the first time. We were hanging out with a celebrity next to us. Uh, whatever. It's just kind of a pseudo celebrity. Tito Ortiz. We see him at CVS all the time. We used to. I know. When we lived and in the Huntington. other bars. Basically, so I I think we've run across him at least. 15 on fight times. night, we ran into a professional fighter. This is basically all it was. Ex that we've seen fighter. forever. Yeah. He was really nice though. Mm -hmm. He was taking pictures of everybody who asked. Yep. Actually chatting with people. He's always been really nice. Yeah. Even at the gym. He, I agree. I, I we used to go to the same gym as him. He would always take pictures with anyone who asked. He's very nice about it. Not like some of the other ones we've come across where they couldn't be bothered and just like, uh. Cyborg is nice. Very nice. I feel like all UFC fighters, um, what's his name? Rampage is really nice. Yeah. Congo is nice. Congo's so nice. He's really funny. Basically all the UFC fighters are really nice. Cub Swanson's nice. When Tiki was saying bye to me one night, Conco was chasing me down trying to yell bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. Hi, happy Sunday. We are on a little family walk right now. On a long walk, we gotta go to the bank because we are on taxes, so we have to <laughs> deposit. But we have like a pretty chill Sunday planned. Or not even planned. We don't fully know what we're doing. We might try to watch the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Because I haven't seen it yet. And it's apparently four hours long. So that's a possibility. But I told Trevor, I'm like, if we're watching that, what? That you're about to walk in? Oh. I'm but I told Trevor that if we're watching that, I definitely need food. So 
<laughs> we'll figure it out when we get to the center, but. Oh my God, another poop, buddy? You're just full of shit. I would rather die for the chase I might die a dream of dust in the safe We cool with the reaper Say it all with my chest Hope you stay when they scatter Tell me how you feel cause it matters You feel Okay, so it's way later. We watched the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, which was actually really good. Definitely a lot better than the original cut of the Justice League. I know that we're late to the game. Most of you guys may have seen it if it was something that you wanted to see, but if you've been on the fence, I really recommend it. They definitely cut out a lot of stuff in the original release that really should have been left in because it tied up a lot of the stories. We did get the mail on our way back in and I got a little PR package that I wanted to unbox it. This one is from Pop Beauty and they sent me a couple of these kombucha probiotic masks which I love kombucha so I'm very interested in this. So this has probiotics and super fruit and is the ultimate reset button for stressed out problematic skin. It's supposed to balance, fortify, and smooth. So I figured I'd go ahead and give this a try, do a little late night mask. But as you guys can see, it's dark. <laughs> when we started the Snyder Cut, it was light out and it is now dark. Actually, I mean, it's very late at night right now because we just like kept watching TV. We watched some more Grey's Anatomy. Trevor's making his way through that. But I figured I would end off my night with a little mask and then probably a glass of wine. I have some makeup on me still from yesterday. But let's go ahead and give this a little try here. How long am I actually supposed to leave this on? This doesn't even... Oh, there's no instructions on this. Why? Why well, I have instructions? I mean, I assume it's like 10 minutes, but there's like no info card or anything. It, it says nothing about how long to leave this on or anything. I'm going to assume 10 minutes. Ooh. Oh, okay. So it's this jelly like consistency. There you go. It smells really good. It smells fruity, but not like overly fruity. Oh, and then there's like actual particles in there. I think it's like actual like pomegranate pieces. Oh, I realized I should have grabbed my little face mask spatula, but that's okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread it on my skin. Just do a little thin layer here. It looks like a very, very glowy mask. It almost reminds me of the Summer Fridays R&R mask, but it doesn't have like as many particles in it but still it like, it kind of has that same feeling on my face. Let's go ahead and get some wine for like a little chill Sunday night vibe. Got my wine here. I'm drinking the California Brut Sauvignon Blanc. I've been really into white wines lately. I don't know what it is, but it's just like it's nice and light you know but I did get this in my day in my life vlog that I posted during this week which I am glad that I did because I realized I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be I'm personally a fan of long vlogs but I know the last few haven't been like super crazy long like I usually will do like 45 plus minute vlogs and these have been under 45 minutes so during this week I did post an extra vlog just like a very in-depth day in my life so you guys can see a little bit about like what my actual day-to-day -day looks like because these weekend vlogs really just focus on like the kind of more exciting things that are happening and you guys miss out a lot on my like actual daily life so I thought that that would be interesting so if you guys didn't catch that make sure to catch up on that one and then also let me know if you liked the day in my life vlog on the last vlog I did put up a little poll on my community page so let me know if you guys would like more of those those would not replace any of the existing videos that I do they would just be like an extra video you know whenever I feel like filming an extra day in my life vlog but the next vlog is actually gonna be kind of jam-packed. I'm gonna be getting my second Pfizer dose then and I'm a little bit nervous about that. I heard that that's the one that people tend to react to. I'm hoping that it won't be too bad because the weekend is kind of packed. On Saturday, I'm taking Trevor for a fun little day date in Carlsbad, which is on its way to San Diego. We're not going to San Diego, but for those of you who like 
aren't familiar with the area. It's another beachside city, but it's further down south than Orange County, which is where I live. And then on Sunday, Michelle and I are gonna shoot in Dana Point, and we're actually gonna shoot very close to Trevor in my wedding venue. So we might go up and go take a look at that just like for fun, just do a little visit there. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun vlog. But anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my wine time, watch a little Superstore, start uploading these clips. So I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye. You make me wanna patch up my